what I love about Figma is you can always go back to a later version of your project if you need to. And if you have experience working on other graphic software such as Photoshop, once you exit out of the application, you can only go back to the last save point you have made. So I'm still working with the same document and we're gonna focus on version history in this video. To access this, all you have to do is go to the file here and under the file menu, click on show version history. You can also access that here on this drop down. Once you click that, the show version history panel will appear. Now for free accounts, you will have unlimited version history for 30 days. And after the 30 days trial, I'm not actually sure how many version um, history you will have, but then for the subscription base, you will have unlimited version as long as you are subscribed. So aside from auto save that you can see here, you can also manually save your version with control alt S or command option S. And down here, we have different timestamps. Yours might be empty depending on how long you've worked with this template already. If you click one of these timestamps, you can name this um, version, restore this version if you want to, duplicate it, or just copy the link and share it. Now, let me show you how this works. Let me just click done here first. So for example, if I duplicate this frame here and Let's say I swap out the pictures here and maybe change the color of this background to something else. Just like so. You don't have to worry even if you delete the original version. So let me just go back to version history here and manually save this. Again, you can hit Control Alt S or Command Option S or just click this plus icon here. So I'm gonna name it version two and hit save. And you can see that version up here. So if you decide that you're not okay with this version and you wanna go back, you can just click the older version and Figma will just load a bit to restore the old version. And you could see that we are back to the original one. If you want the second version and just want to get some objects or elements from the original version, you can do so by duplicating that version and just click and um, copy the elements to the new version. Awesome, right? So there you have it. Now that you are familiar with Figma's whole interface and most of its basic functionalities, it is now time to set up our first project and we will do that on our next lesson.